that this week there was the annual Labour Loving at the Corn Exchange. It wasn't that interesting to be honest. Recently in the news there's been a lot of talk about the uh, um, police control room moving from Marksham. Um, it would not be in the interests of, of Suffolk if it did because of uh, the bias of Luke Norwich. Uh, here's a report on that. Uh, yeah, it, it's imperative that the control room stays here in Marlesham and is not moved to Norfolk. Um, Luke Norwich would actually stop Suffolk Constabulary existing because if the, you can't have a Norfolk and Suffolk Constabulary because, well, the same as they say Norfolk Broads rather than Norfolk and Suffolk Broads, even though most of the Broads are actually in Suffolk. So it's absolutely necessary right, so that Luke Norwich does not actually in their Norfolk century bias um, stop talking about a, Suffolk having a police force which is why it should stay here in Marlesham rather than be moved to Wymundham which is near Atleyborough. Now last week uh, we visited the lost villages of Borrington and Pannington. This week we're visiting a couple more lost Suffolk villages. Ipswich Labour say that um, county councils don't understand Ipswich because they all represent living leafy villages. Anyway, uh, the borough boundaries over that way somewhere. As you can see, it's very urban round here. Anyway, this is up. This leads to Church Farm. Uh, as you can see, there isn't any churches there. This is Felston Lane and up there there's a few houses but up here w where church farm is that was next to St Bottles Church Falston. Falston is a lost village. Falston Church is no longer there. St Bottles Church isn't. It fell into disuse. They knocked it down and used the stones to build the north aisle of St Mary's Whitton up the road. Here. Right, this is St Mary's Whitton, this is North Isle. Tower. Yes, it, actually, it was a tower that St. Botolph's was the stones from St. Botolph's were built with. But because uh, part of St. Botolph's is here, if you look at the full name of the church, St. Mary and St. Botolph Witten, named after St. Mary Witten, which was here first, and St. Botolph's Church, Boston, which some of the stones are from. Witten is also a lost village, it's part of Ipswich now. And this is the main village street, what was before Witten became part of Ipswich. There's a farmhouse over the road, and there's a pub behind me. And sometimes when there isn't much traffic, it still feels like a village around here. When actually you're in the borough of Ipswich still, it's really quite bizarre sometimes. Right, now, one thing that, what's, uh, one problem of Suffolk people have is weekend retreaters and uh, newcomers from London uh, moaning about our way of life, you know, um, you know, um, making our houses in Suffolk too expensive, you know, people like uh, Hattie and Jack in Waldronfield. Anyway, here's a report from Kersey. Right, now, um, yeah, just got the curtsy, yeah. And if you look down there at the stream, there ain't any ducks in there anymore. Now, there ain't any ducks here anymore because newcomers and weekend retreaters don't like them. They didn't like the old ducks and complained enough to actually get rid of them. Apparently, um, a parish councillor where I complained to them and he basically told them, that, well, I'm not going to actually repeat that, but I mean, there's always been ducks here, hasn't there? Yeah. Okay, that's that for this week. Um, and this is a riverside view.